Okay, so we are continuing with our stoichiometry question. Question number twenty, question number seven from twenty twenty one says aqueous ammonium nitrite is uh, wait acid is also so aqueous ammonium nitrite decomposes when heated as shown. A uh, twenty five centimeter cube of uh, sample of this much concentration of ammonium nitrite is heated. Calculate the volume of nitrogen produced. So you have to go from ammonium nitrite effectively to what? to nitrogen and they're connected to moles, which means one mole gives you one mole. So I have to take the known data, which is 25 cm cube and the concentration and convert it into moles first. That is our stoichiometry, three steps, convert the known data into moles, use the equation to find the moles of unknown, which in this case effectively is nitrogen. And then we're gonna convert it into volume because nitrogen is a gas. So you can easily go into V is equal to N times 24, right? So let's convert this N equals CV. Moles on the calculator, you've gotten the concentration, which is 0 0.150 and volume is 20. But remember, this is in dm cube and this is in cm cube. So first convert the centimeter cube into decimeter cube. So 25 divided by 1000. How many moles do we get? We get 0 0.00375. Thank you. Moles of <clears throat> ammonium nitrite. Now, from the moles of ammonium nitrite, what do we have to find? We have to find nitrogen right here. So you know that one mole of ammonium nitrite gives me one mole of nitrogen. So one mole of ammonium nitrite, one mole of nitrogen, deta hai. so 0 0.00375 would give me how much? Obviously, the same amount, which is 0 0.00375 moles of nitrogen. And now we have to find the volume of nitrogen to V is equal to N times 24 or 24,000 because it's in decimeter cube. So I'll just times it by 24 dm cube. V is equal to 0 0.00375 times 24. What do you get? 0 0.00375 times 24. 0.09 dm cube. That's the volume of nitrogen. Done? Aage bade. An excess of sulfamic acid reacts with 20 cm cube of a sample of uh, sodium nitrite. Uh, calculate the volume of nitrogen. So for this, you need to have the equation. And since this is the first edition of our topical book, the equation isn't given. But in your question, hai, question number seven, ke part mein, you must have been given the equation. I'll write the equation for you guys. So it's basically NH2SO3H plus NaNO2 gives me N2 plus H2O plus NaHSO4. Ye question mein given hai. This must be given in the question. So if you take out this paper, this topical booklet ka A part in it, this equation aapko given hogi, 100%. Done? So now it says, this, this much volume and this much concentration of sodium nitrite. This is sodium nitrite. So what do we have to do? We have to take the moles of sodium nitrite. So first convert the known data into moles. From the moles of sodium nitrite, find the moles of nitrogen. And from the moles of nitrogen, go into volume. Three steps for stoichiometry. Again, N equals CV. Moles calculate. Karne. Concentration is 0 0.15. Volume is 20 cm cube. So convert cm cube into dm cube first. Because concentration is in dm cube. This must also be in dm cube. Done. Kitane moles are in 0 0.003 moles of sodium nitrite. Now, from the moles of sodium nitrite, what do I have to find? I have to find the nitrogen. So, use the equation, the balanced equation. So, one mole of sodium nitrite gives me one mole of nitrogen. A mole of sodium nitrite, say, primarily, no, one mole of nitrogen. Aata. Oops. Oops. <clears throat> one mole of nitrogen. If you have 0.003, how many moles of nitrogen aenge? N cross multiply, you get 0 0.003 moles of nitrogen. Adam? Now, from the moles of nitrogen, what do I have to calculate? Volume, V is equal to N times 24 or 24,000. You need the volume in dm cube. So, 24 dm cube. Done. Volume nikali moles kitri in 0 0.003 times it by 24 V is equal to kitna 0.0 kitna 72 dmq 0 0.072. Adam? 
आगे बढ़ू आगे असाम्पल ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड हैज कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मोल पर डी एम क्यूब कैलकुलेट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इन ग्राम पर डी एम क्यूब सो इट गिवेट जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मोल पर डी एम क्यूब but you need it in gram per dm cube so effectively what you need to do is convert this moles into grams and how do you go from moles to mass well mass is connected to moles by this formula right here mass equal mole times molar mass mass nikalna hai moles kitne 0.75 and molar mass of sulfuric acid hydrogen is 1 times it by 2 since you have 2 h's sulfur is 32 and oxygen is 16 times it by 4 what do you get <clears throat> क्या आ रहा है 98 सो मास इक्वल्स 0.75 टाइम्स 98 कितना आ रहा है 73.5 सर सो व्हाट शुड बी द न्यू कंसंट्रेशन कंसंट्रेशन शुड बी 73.5 ग्राम पर डीएम क्यूब सो 73.5 खत्म Sodium chloride is an ionic salt. It can be made by reacting sodium with chlorine gas. Calculate the volume of chlorine gas in centimeter cube that reacts with this much grams of sodium chloride. Again, this is my known data. First of all, convert the known data of sodium chloride into moles. How do you go from mass to moles? Well, simple formula: mass equal mole times molar mass. Mass कितना है? Two point three four moles निकालने हैं. Molar mass कितना है sodium chloride का? Sodium is twenty three, chlorine is thirty five point five. What do you get? N is equal to two point three four divided by fifty eight point five. कितने मोल्स आ रहे? Zero point zero four moles of sodium chloride. Thank you. Now you have to find what chlorine. So you have to go from sodium chloride to chlorine. What's the next step? Use the balanced equation. Sir, so two moles of sodium chloride is formed from one mole of chlorine. When there is nothing written, it means one, right? So chlorine is or sodium chloride. So one mole of chlorine forms two moles of sodium chloride. If you have zero point zero four moles of sodium chloride, how many moles of chloride must have it been formed from? Zero point zero four divided by two. What do you get? Zero point zero two moles of chlorine. And now, what do we want? What does the examiner want you to convert it into? Well, the examiner wants you to convert it into volume. So V is equal to n times twenty four, but it's in centimeter cube. So now not just twenty four, twenty four thousand cm cube. Because effectively, what you need to understand is twenty four dm cube. If I convert it to cm cube, then one dm cube has a thousand centimeter cube. So twenty four dm cube would have twenty four thousand cm cube. Or yeah, just if math comes over, then we'll write twenty four dm cube would have x cm cube cross multiplied twenty four times thousand gives you twenty four thousand. Done. तो व्हाट डू वी गेट मोल्स कितने हैं 0.02 टाइम्स इट बाय 24000 जी क्या आ रहा है क्या आ रहा है जी 480 सीएम क्यूब थैंक यू 480 सीएम क्यूब डन नेक्स्ट हम्म स्पेस टॉर्च लगा दे जरा प्लीज Okay, calculate the mass of LiF needed to form 3.04 grams of LiPF6 using the following. So again, it wants LiF and it's giving you the data of LiPF6. So what do I have to do? I have to convert the known data into moles. So I have to go from these grams to moles. Then I have to connect these moles to these moles. So I'm going to go from lithium. The lithium uh, LiPF6 to LiF lithium fluoride, and once I get the moles of lithium fluoride, I can convert into mass by using mass equal mole times molar mass. अच्छा जी तो करें जी mass equal mole times molar mass. Mass कितना है सर? 3.04 moles निकालने lithium LiPF6 के और molar mass कितना है LiPF6 का 152 given है. So n is equal to 3.04 divided by 152. What do we get? 3.04 divided by 152. 0.02 moles. Then, ये L I P F six के moles आ गए. 0.02. Now it says L I F के निकालने. So now now connect these two. L I P F six से L I F में जाने. So one mole of L I P F six gives me Six moles of LiF. So if you have zero point zero two moles of LiPF six, how many moles of LiF would you get? Zero point zero two. 
n cross multiply 0 0.02 multiply by 6 0 0.12 moles of lif so 0 0.12 Calculate the mass of LIF needed. A mass may moles in moles to up kiss me jane, mass me jane. So convert it into mass, mass equal mole times molar mass. How easy is this man? Mass me jane, 0.12. LIF ka molar mass kitna is LI, periodic table me LI kitna. Can somebody tell me periodic table me LI kitna hai, please? LI in the periodic table. Seven, sure. So it's seven. And F is how much? 19, if I'm not wrong. So 0 0.12 multiplied by 7 plus 19. So 3.12. 19, you know? Ji, bata do. Koi bata de. Shabil, is it 19? Sabil, is it 19? Sabil, shahid, 19. Oh. Okay, great. So 7 plus 19. Awesome. Next, fluorine reacts with aqueous sodium hydroxide to produce... Okay, a second. <clears throat> to produce NaF, water, and oxygen. And it's given you the equation. It says, what is the maximum volume of oxygen produced? Of oxygen, we have But what is the data given? The data is about sodium hydroxide. So convert the mole, the data of sodium hydroxide into moles. And once you get, but the, it's already in moles. So you don't have to convert it into moles, right? It's already given to you in the moles. Then the next step is use the equation to go from sodium hydroxide to what? To oxygen. So we know that sodium four moles of sodium hydroxide gives me one mole of oxygen. So sodium hydroxide, the data is already in moles. You don't have to convert it further, right? So sodium hydroxide is so oxygen. Four moles of sodium hydroxide gives me one mole of oxygen. So if you have 0 0.037 moles of sodium hydroxide, how many moles of oxygen would you have? N cross multiply, what do you get? 0 0.037 divided by 4. N is equal to 0 0.037 divided by 4. 9.25 into 10 is the power minus 3 moles of O2. Ye moles of O2 aage. Ab volume nikalne. Volume nikalne se. Kis mein maangai? DM cube mein. So 24 se multiply karne. Volume is equal to N times 24 DM cube. Moles kitne? 9.25 into 10 is power minus 3 times it by 24. What do we get? V is equal to 0 0.222. My difference is 0 0.22 DM cube. Done? Calculate the maximum mass of aluminum formed when 25.5 grams of aluminum oxide reacts with magnesium. I'm thinking, you must know that it's a stoichiometry question because he's given you the data of aluminum oxide. And what does the examiner want? He wants aluminum. So he must give you the balanced equation and it must be given in this question. But since it is not given, you gave part two uthaya gaya. Because first edition is a little mistake, so I will write the equation. It's Al2O3 plus magnesium gives you magnesium oxide plus, uh, uh, sorry, it gives you magnesium oxide plus aluminum, right? Or this is balance ke deta hu. So either 3 aega or either aapke paas 2 aega. That's the balanced equation. Achha, ji. This must be given in the question or it is given in the question. Now question dekhi ke ye equation given. Hai. So it given the mass of aluminum oxide. Pahla step ke convert the mass into moles. So mass equal mole times molar mass. Mass kitna hai? 25.5 moles nikalne. Molar mass of aluminum oxide. So if aluminum is 27 times it by 2 because you have 2 aluminums. Oxygen is 16 times it by 3. What do we get? 102. Sure. So 102. So n is equal to 25.5 divided by 102. What do we get? 0 0.25. Okay. 0 0.25 moles of Al2O3 done. Yeah, moles of Al2O3 are And now, 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 what do we have to find? I have to go from moles of aluminum oxide to moles of aluminum because you need to find mass of aluminum. So one mole of aluminum oxide gives me two moles of aluminum. Three steps for stoichiometry. Khatam. So one mole gives me two moles. 0 0.25 moles should give me how many moles? And cross multiply. What do we get? N is equal to 0 0.25 times 2. What do we get? 0 0.25 times 2. 0 0.05. Here moles of AL again. Or mass manga to so convert it into mass now. Mass equal mole times molar mass. Mass kitna nikalne moles kitne 0 0.5. Molar mass of aluminum 27. 
So 27 multiplied by 0 0.5 is 13.5 grams. So 13.5. The main video solution banara hu. Thank you, thank you, bilkul. Thank you for blessing me with your presence. Bilkul video solution hi ban rahi hai aur kuch bhi nahi ho raha. Sirf video solution main banara hu. Apne 1800 topical booklet ke pages ke to agar bache mere saath solve karna chahe kar sakte hai. Main video solution banara hu. Balanced hai na? MGO balanced. Oh ho. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Three MGO. My bad. Thank you. Thank you. To ye equation aapko given hogi question mein. Three MG, three MG. 2 2 Thanks, Adia. already given. Water and oxygen are formed, blah, blah, blah. Calculate the maximum volume of oxygen. Oxygen is um, And what is the data given? Data is about hydrogen peroxide. So, per equation be given Ogi to connect oxygen and hydro hydrogen peroxide. And that's given. Two moles of hydrogen peroxide makes, makes one mole of oxygen. Okay. First step, convert the data, the known data, the data in the question into moles. Mass equal mole times molar mass. Mass kit mass solar gram. Moles nikal ne. Molar mass of hydrogen peroxide. Kitna hydrogen is 1 times it by 2 because you have 2 and oxygen is 16 times it by 2 because you have 2 O's. Kitna hai? 32 plus 2, 34. N is equal to 16 divided by 34. What do you get? G kitna hai? 0.471. Moles of H2O2. Done. Up. You don't need moles of H2O2. We need oxygen. So use the balanced equation to go from moles of H2O2 to moles of oxygen. So two moles of H2O2 gives me one mole of oxygen right here from the equation. Though mujhe ek data hai. So 0.471 should give me how much? N cross multiply. What do you get? 0.471 divided by 2. Iska aada. To kete moles are Moles of oxygen, 0 0.235, thank you, 0 0.235 moles of O2. Now, you don't need moles, you need volume. Now, convert it into volume, V is equal to end of 24 or 24,000 dm cube. So, I am it by 24 dm cube. V is equal to moles, 0 0.235 times it by 24. What do we get? 5.65. Hmm. Calculate the maximum mass of iron formed from iron three oxide when iron three oxide reacts with carbon. Again, the equation is given to you in the question. They can choke panda amara addition and twist with both wo equations missing at the melee kato. Iron oxide Fe2O3. So Fe2O3 reacts with 3CO to give you Fe plus 2Fe plus 3CO2. This is the balanced equation. And this is balanced equation. Achha, now calculate the mass of iron formed. So iron is And what is the data given? The data is given about iron 3 oxide. So first step, convert the mass of iron 3 oxide into the moles of iron 3 oxide. So mass equals mole times molar mass. Bara shagya panch equals mole times molar mass. Iron 3 oxide ka molar mass nikalne, please. Iron is 56. Times it by 2 plus oxygen is 16. Times it by 3. What do we get? Exosat, exosat. So mole equals 12.5 divided by exosat. What do we get? 0 0.078. Hanji, ye extra class nahi hai. Extra class aaj hogi kyunki Wednesday ko chutti hogi na. Hanji, bilkul, bilkul, bilkul. This is not an extra class. I'm just making the video solution for my past paper. Jo aap logon ki liye maine topical booklet banayi hui. So, I'm making the video solutions so that we can distribute it in the next few days. I'm going to do extra work so that you guys don't make any of the people in the papers. Okay. Again, you need to find the mass of iron 16 divided by 2. Again, you need to find the mass of iron. So, you need to now go from iron oxide to iron. Use the balanced equation. The first step is always convert the data into moles. Second step is use the equation. And third step is whatever the question requires. Now, one mole of iron oxide gives me two moles of iron. 0 0.078 moles of iron oxide say kitne moles of iron aane? n cross multiply 2 se multiply kare kya hai 2 times 0 0.078 what do we get 2 times 0 0.078 0 0.156 
These are the modes of iron. And now, and now, and now, mass me jane. So mass equal mole times molar mass. 0.156 times molar mass kitna hai iron ka? 56. So isko 56 se multiply kare. 8.736. 8.75? 8.75. Seven five, अच्छा. तो mass equal eight point seven five grams. अच्छा जी, हाँ बिल्कुल वो calculator में ज़्यादा बड़ा आ रहा है ना. Calculator में ये value बड़ी आ रही है. वो मैं तो सिर्फ़ इधर लिख रहा हूँ. Calculator में तो answer multiplied by two करने हैं ना आप. जो भी answer आ रहा है calculator में. ठीक है. Okay, eight point seven five. हाँ ना? आगे बढ़े. The equation shows the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Um, 25 cm cube of aqueous hydrogen peroxide forms 48 cm cube of oxygen gas. Now, you have concentration. Find the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. Again, you're given the known data. He's going to take you step by step. You can direct it. He's given you the data of oxygen. Convert this into moles using V is equal to N times 24,000. And go from the moles of oxygen to the moles of hydrogen peroxide. And once you have the moles of hydrogen peroxide, you also have the volume of this solution. You can find the concentration using N equals CV. So simple step, the first step, convert the data into moles, use the equation to find the moles of unknown and convert it into what the question requires for N equals CV to find the concentration. As a step-by-step, find the number of moles of oxygen. So B is equal to N times 24 or 24,000. It's in CM cube, so 24,000 CM cube. V is 48. Equals mole times twenty four thousand. Ishil, how are you? Limiting and excess. Am I getting it? You said that in school, the teacher, in our school, no one understands the limiting and excess. Now, are you getting it? You have seen the videos of limiting and excess. So these are the moles of O two. Two into ten is power minus. Now you want to find the moles of hydrogen peroxide. So. One mole of O2 gives me two moles of hydrogen peroxide. So O2, very clear. Okay, that's awesome. So one mole of O2 is from two moles of hydrogen peroxide. So two into 10 is per minus three moles of O2. So how many hydrogen peroxide are N cross multiply. N is equal to, this number equal to, say multiply, 4.0 into 10 is per minus three. So char into 10 is per minus three moles of hydrogen peroxide. Now you have concentration. You have the moles of hydrogen peroxide and you also have the volume of the hydrogen peroxide solution. So you have the moles, you have the volume. So N equals CV. You have the moles, which is 4 into 10 is to the power minus 3. Concentration is out. How volume is 25 cm cube. Let's convert it in DM cube because the examiner wants it in DM cube. So 25 divided by 1000. Sir, concentration equals 4 into 10 is to the power minus 3 divided by 0.025. Sir, these moles are and these dm cube. That's why the the unit kya aega? Unit kya aega? Mole per dm cube. Kya aega, sir? 4 into 10 is to the power minus 4 minus 3 divided by 0 0.025. 0 0.16. Mole per dm cube. Next. <clears throat> the equation for the reaction in stage 3 is shown. Page 3 ki cohesion dekhaare. Calculate the volume of oxygen gas at room temperature pressure needed to produce these many gram of HNO3. So you're given the known data, convert the known data into moles. First step, use the equation to find the moles of unknown, which in this case is oxygen. And then from the equation, you find the moles of oxygen. And then once you have the moles of oxygen, V is equal to N times 24 dm cube. You're going to get the volume of oxygen. Pretty simple, huh? So, how do you go from mass to moles? Mass equal mole times molar mass. Mass kitna 1260 mole into molar mass kitna H and 3 ka H is 1, nitrogen is 14, oxygen is 16 times it by 3. What do we get? Moles kitna H and 3 ka. जी बिल्कुल दिस इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ आर क्लास ये मैं वीडियो सॉल्यूशन अपने टॉपिकल बुक बुकलेट की बना रहा हूं 1800 पेजेस की जो बुकलेट है तो एनीबॉडी कैन जॉइन एंड जस्ट गिव मी अ कंपनी व्हाइल आई एम डूइंग दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चंस जी बिल्कुल अच्छा करें जी 1260 हमारी क्लास की तो टाइमिंग अलग है और वो तो सिर्फ रजिस्टर्ड स्टूडेंट्स के लिए 16 3 14 1 63 तो 1260 डिवाइडेड बाय 63 व्हाट डू यू गेट 
कितना बनेगा एन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई एन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी ओवर फोर और यू गेट फाइव तो पांच आ गया पांच फाइव मोल डन And now you calculate the volume, and the volume is in dm cube. To calculate, can V is equal to n times twenty-four thousand. Uh, sorry, twenty-four dm cube. Volume निकालने हैं moles कितने? Five times it by twenty-four. V is equal to five times twenty-four. Eight so V one twenty dm cube. Are them? Propyl ethanoate is prepared by the reaction between ethanoic acid and propanol. Calculate the maximum mass of propyl ethanoate that can be made from these. Again, you are given the known data of ethanoic acid. Ye ethanoic acid. Ye. Or manga kya hua? Propyl ethanoate. So this is propyl ethanoate. Ye aapko kaise pata? Aapko bhi pata lag jayega when you do organic chemistry. ठीक है? So this is given, and this is required. Let's do this. Convert the data into moles. So mass equal mole times. मास इक्वल मोल टाइम्स मोलर मास मास कितना है सर सेवन पॉइंट टू जीरो मोल्स निकालने मोलर मास कितना है सर यू हैव वन कार्बन हियर एंड अनदर कार्बन हियर तो ट्वेल्व टाइम्स टू प्लस हाउ मेनी हाइड्रोजन यू हैव थ्री हाइड्रोजन हियर एंड वन हियर तो प्लस वन टाइम्स फोर एंड हाउ मेनी ऑक्सीजन यू हैव टू तो प्लस सिक्सटीन टाइम्स टू मार्क्स बस इसके थे टोटल ये निकालने थे सेवन पॉइंट टू जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी मोल्स 0.12. These are the moles of ethanoic acid. Now we find what we have to do. We have to go from the moles of ethanoic acid to the moles of propyl ethanoid. So propyl ethanoid ke moles or ethanoic acid. देखिए गाजी. One mole of propyl ethanoid gives. So one mole of ethanoic acid gives me one mole of propyl ethanoid. तो आपके पास अगर 0.12 मोल्स ऑफ इथेनोइक एसिड होंगे कितने प्रोपाइल इथेनोइड के मोल्स होंगे अगेन द सेम अमाउंट एंड नाउ यू वांट द मैक्सिमम मास सो मास इक्वल मोल टाइम्स मोलर मास मास निकाल लें मोल्स कितने हैं 0.12 मोलर मास ऑफ प्रोपाइल इथेनोइड देखिएगा देखिएगा कार्बन 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 कार्बन सो 12 टाइम्स 5 इसके मार्क्स है टोटल सर थ्री हाइड्रोजन फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन टेन हाइड्रोजन सो प्लस वन टाइम्स टेन और प्लस ऑक्सीजन कितने सर वन ऑक्सीजन है टू ऑक्सीजन तो इन टोटल यू हैव टू ऑक्सीजन सो टू टाइम्स सिक्सटीन कितने आ रहे हैं टोटल क्या आ रहा है कितना आ रहा है टोटल एक सौ दो मैं चेक भी कर लू यार आप लोगों का कोई भरोसा नहीं है एक सौ दो ही आ रहा है ओके तो जीरो पॉइंट वन टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन हंड्रेड एंड टू क्या आ रहा है ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू फोर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू फोर खादम टू लिख लें ओ ओ ओ यस 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 यू आर राइट यू आर राइट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू फोर नहीं ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू बिकॉज़ इट्स थ्री सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स तो इट्� Iron two sulfate thermally decomposes to form iron three oxide, sulfur dioxide, and sulfur trioxide. A sample of six point eight. Again, you're given the data. Convert the data into moles. Use the equation to find the unknown, which is sulfur dioxide, and from the unknown, convert it into what the question requires. So V is equal to n times twenty four. Khatam. Mass equal. Kitna asan is stoichiometry vaise. इससे बच्चे डरते हैं पता नहीं क्या बला है क्या इतनी प्रैक्टिस हमने अब कर ली के मोलर मास आयरन इज 56 सल्फर इज 32 ऑक्सीजन इज 16 एंड टाइम्स इट बाय 4 बिकॉज़ ये 4 ओस कितना आ रहा है 152 मोल इक्वल 6.08 डिवाइडेड बाय 152 कितना आ रहा है सर हम्म mm -hmm. 
अगर दो मुझे एक दे रहा है मुझे आधा देगा ना लेकिन आप कर सकते हैं अगर आपकी मैथ कमजोर हो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर डिवाइड बाई टू वो डिवेट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू These are the moles of लिखें क्या किस चीज के मोल्स हैं सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड नाउ यू वांट टू फाइंड व्हाट द वॉल्यूम v is equal to n times 24 v is equal to 0.02 times it by 24 v is equal to 0.02 times 24 0.48 0.48 बढ़ो आगे when one mole of hydrogen is completely combusted this much energy is released Calculate the energy release when these many grams of hydrogen is combusted. So again, the relationship that is given to you in the question is between moles and energy. This is grams. So first, convert grams into moles to use the relationship. Again, mass equal mole times molar mass. Mass कितना है सर? अच्छी मोल निकालने हैं मोलर मास ऑफ हाइड्रोजन. हाइड्रोजन is H two. So a hydrogen का a क्या है and times it by two because you have two hydrogen. So moles equals twenty five divided by two. What do you get? Twelve point five. These are the moles of H2. अब वो अपनी equation आपको दे रहे हैं, relationship आपको दे रहे हैं कि one mole of hydrogen when it's combusted gives you how much energy? 286 kilojoule. So if 12.5 mole is combusted, how much energy would you get? X cross multiply 12.5 times 286. So 12.5 times 286. What do we get? 3575. और ये आपके पास है मिथाइल प्रोपेनोट अच्छा अगर आपको पता भी ना होता तो यू नो एवरी थिंग इज वन रेशो वन रेशो वन रेशो वन तो जितने इसके मोल होंगे वो अनोन के उतने ही मोल होंगे लेकिन चलिए कन्वर्ट कर देते मास इक्वल मोल टाइम्स मोलर मास दिस वन इज इथाइल सॉरी दिस वन इज योर 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 मेथड प्रो प्रोपनोइक एसिड डन ये मेरा प्रोपनोइक और डेटा किसका गिवन है 11.0 ग्राम्स ऑफ प्रोपनोइक एसिड तो मास गिवन है 11.0 ग्राम्स मोल्स निकाल ले प्रोपनोइक एसिड ये मोलर मास ऑफ प्रोपनोइक एसिड देखिएगा जी 1 कार्बन 2 कार्बन 3 कार्बन सो आई एम गोना से हे 12 times 3 how many hydrogens do you have so 3 4 5 6 you have 6 hydrogen to plus 1 times 6 or plus kitne oxygens hai two oxygens so 16 times 2 kitna aa raha hai 74 so mole is equal to 11 divided by 74 what do we get 0.149 अच्छा 0.149 ऑफ ऑफ किस चीज के अगर आपके पास इफ यू है अच्छा वैसे आप लोग साथ सोल्व करें कि वैसे बैठे हुए हैं क्लास में है या चलो सर को कंपनी दे रहे हैं सर अपनी वीडियो सोल्यूशन बना रहे हैं हम वैसे बैठ जाते हैं ऐसी भी जिंदगी में कोई काम नहीं है ऐसे बड़ा है 
Yes. Thank you for accompanying me. Eight sheet my power point one four nine. Thirteen point one one two grams. Done? Thirteen point. Now it says convert, right? Give your answer correct to three six six. So three significant figures, one, two, three. So thirteen point one should be the answer. आगे बढ़ू हैन हाइड्रस कॉपर सल्फेट डी कम्पो मैन दिस इज सो मच यार मैं सोचता हूँ मैं कैसे करूंगा चलो ये कर लू एक सवाल आखिर एन हाइड्रस कॉपर सल्फेट डी कम्पोज वेन हीटेड स्ट्रॉन्गली सैम्पल ऑफ दिस मेज ग्राम ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट इज हीटेड अगेन यूर गिवन द डेटा कन्वर्टेड इन टू मोज बिकॉज वट इज द क्वेश्चन इट रिक्वायर सल्फर ट्राई ऑक्साइड सो वंस यू कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू मोज देन 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 वट एम आई गर डू यू कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू मोज Once you get the moles of copper sulfate, you use the equation to find the moles of sulfur trioxide, and you convert it into volume by using V is equal to n times twenty four because it's in dm cube. Okay, mass equal mole times molar mass. Mass is how much? Six point four zero moles. Out of copper sulfate, copper is how much? Sixty four or sixty five? Is copper sixty four in the periodic table or is it sixty five? Everybody, sixty four, sixty five. Yes, you shall tell me. Help me, man. आपका बिल्कुल खामोश है 64 है 65 है लेकिन हमारे पास पीरियोडिक टेबल नहीं है तबील आप बता दें 64 अच्छा जी तो 64 प्लस सल्फर इज 32 ऑक्सीजन इज 16 टाइम्स इट बाय 4 व्हाट डू वी गेट इन टोटल 160 160 N is equal to six point four zero divided by one sixty. Six point four zero divided by so zero point zero four moles of copper sulfate. Done. Now, once I got the moles of copper sulfate, what do I need? I need moles of sulfur trioxide. Said so one mole of copper sulfate gives me one mole of sulfur trioxide. So copper sulfate, sulfur trioxide. One mole se one mole aa raha hai to zero point zero four se kitne aayega? X or N cross multiply what you get again zero point zero four moles of SO three moles again manga ke volume V is equal to N times twenty four V is equal to zero point zero four times twenty four point zero four times twenty four zero point nine six बस थक गया हूँ यार मैं बस हो गई मेरी यार ये बहुत ज्यादा है अठारह सौ पेजेस मैं कैसे करूंगा एक चैलेंज है टाइम भी हमारे पास नहीं है कॉर्पोरेट स्लेव्स हैं वैसे ही लेकिन एक चैलेंज है ये बाद में इनशाला सब कुछ हम एक एलएमएस पे डालेंगे फिर उधर से बच्चों को एक्सेस मिलेगा जो हमारे टॉपिकल बुकलेट से सवाल करेंगे अच्छा आसान था कि मुश्किल है अलीबाज इन माई क्लासेस आप सारे मेरे क्लास में हो ना मी जस्ट स्टॉप द रिकॉर्डिंग Stop the screen sharing. Are you guys all three of you? Are you classes now? 